update. As so many of you already know, I have cancer, but not like a small spot on my skin that can be cleared up with a minor surgery. No, I had to go and mess things up really good. Mine is stage four metastatic adenocarcinoma. Yeah, not good. When our doc first discovered it, Shelley made the mistake of asking Dr. K, a wonderful man, an excellent physician, what the prognosis was for this disease. He answered bluntly, two to five years. But that was without any treatments. Mine had gotten out of the box, so to speak. That box is my prostate. It had been very slow growing for years, and statistics tell us that 87% of all men have prostate cancer but die with and not of it. So we were watching it and it was slow growth for sure. The last season when we got back to Arizona from our travels, we had a routine PSA done. That's an indicator of its growth. Mine had always been high. The best case is a zero. Mine over the years had worked up to a 20 plus, but digital exams kept coming back unremarkable. That's not the only test. Dr. K found it when one of the other tests, a biopsy of the prostate, came back positive. And it was just a couple of cells in one sample. The biopsies consist of 24 samples of the prostate removed medievally with a needle through your rectum in a fan sort of a pattern. Hey, for what it's worth, opt for sedation, a kind of a twilight. Don't let them just numb the area and do it in the office. Anyway, over the years since those first biopsies, over a hundred individual samples later, no other cancer was detected. It was there, just hiding. My last PSA did a sudden spike to 57. I was scheduled for a PET scan two days later. The results were disheartening. My abdomen lit up with possible cancer, not only in the prostate, but lymph nodes and bone. This was now a cancer that had just become wildly aggressive. Surgery is not an option. It has to be treated as a total body thing. The first step is hormonal therapy. Deprive the cancer its food, testosterone. Next, attack the cancer at its source with radiation. Nine and a half weeks, 45 days of anywhere from 30 to 15 minutes in a linear accelerator and all the side effects that go along with it. I was lucky with very few. Some of those poor guys. We drove 45 minutes each way for the treatments. Well, that's been completed and the waiting began. Two months for those structures to, so to say, cool down. Waiting for Dr. K to translate the results for us. During the visit, Dr. K is guardedly optimistic. The good news is that the numbers are good. Not perfect, but good. My PSA is now at 0.4. I'm elated, yet he brings me back to earth. It's not perfect. The cancer is still there. He wants to be more aggressive than it has been. He tells us that due to the tricky nature of this disease, I will be treated like it's just waiting for an opportunity to rear its head again. That means more and different hormone therapy, a treatment to strengthen my bones. I guess that much of this chemo light can leave me with weak bones and I'll be starting another medication for the chemo side as well, kind of blitzing it before it gets a chance to come back or reappear. His words were, we will be treating you for cancer pretty much the rest of your life which of course I'm hoping is long and fruitful. No, no more kids, but travel and creating amazing memories. For the short term, he will be seeing me every three months with lots of testing and treatments. And at some point, the visits will get further apart. And if all goes well, I'll just start on a maintenance dose of these meds. What about me? Well, I believe that I, with the Lord's help, am gonna beat this and hopefully die a quiet death of natural causes many years from now. 
There are so many wonderful things to see and experience yet in this world, and I want to do them all. Yeah, I've lost weight and some strength as a side effect of the treatments. But I'm working out, lifting and walking, etc. every day, and my appetite seems to be coming back. It just takes time. Hey, I'm retired. I'll get my health back, and we'll get back on the road sooner than later. We really thank you all for your interest and concern. So many comforting words and kind people. What a great community we have here. Now, to make us feel better, please travel safe. Thanks for dropping in.